Hello Gemini, welcome back to the channel, it's Asin Tarot. So today we're going to do your love reading, your daily love reading. So we're going to see what's going on with you and your person, okay? Alright guys, if the video does resonate, remember to like the video, give this video a big thumbs up on the channel. When you do like the video, YouTube sees that you like it and push the videos forward in a bigger audience so the video can grow, so the channel can grow. Um, guys, if you want to support me even, even further, you could go ahead and click on my Instagram page. It will be in the below section of the video. Once we hit the 5K there, I will definitely start that journey with you doing the free personal readings on the Instagram, okay? Um, do not type it in, you guys. Just uh, click on the link because there's just a lot of people watching this channel and making fake profiles off my Instagram. All right, so let's get into your reading, you guys, and see what's going on. Gemini, please. Gemini. Messages for Gemini. Hmm, there's some frictions here, like arguments, misunderstandings. I also feel like you walked away from this situation. Like it was just so much for you to bear. Yeah, there was a lot of responsibilities holding up this relationship. I feel like for some of you are like, if I take one more responsibility, if I take one more, um, you know, thing that I have to do with this person or if something happens in this relationship that I have to bear, I'm going to let everything go. Tell me more, please. Tell me more. Wow, this is about your past love. Hmm, very interesting. But this person wants to come back. Your past love. Hmm. For some of you, I'm getting like this person from your past wants to come back, but you're seeing someone else, which is your twin flame connection. Like your twin flame connection is coming in. Like you guys are sleeping together, like you're sleeping with this person, okay? Like you're with someone else, but your past wants to come back and um come back into your life, okay? This could be the same person, but this is a soulmate card, okay? And this is a twin flame card. So it's two different situations here, all right? And then I also feel like, you know, this um this lovers, this twin flame connection is thinking that they're going to lose you from your ex. Like you're going to go back to your ex for some reason. Even though you guys had a lot of um, baggage, and but it's a lot of history here. Maybe you're just having fun with your, your twin flame connection. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, your ex is coming back to give you a committed relationship. So it's a long-term relationship. Okay, so you are going to have anxiety. I see you walking away from both. Okay, I see like you're taking a break, like you don't know what to do now. You have anxiety here. Okay. Hmm. So, you know, I feel like this is crazy because your twin flame, the, guys, the, the, the girl, guy, whoever this is, um, you know, they're coming in to invest. They're giving you all that they have, but... They're feeling like you're going to leave them. They're saying that how you are their wish fulfillment. Like you are everything that they wanted. But they feel like you're going to bounce on them. You're going to bounce on them pretty soon. Even though they're investing a lot with you. You know, this relationship with your past, I mean, it didn't fulfill you. You know, that's why you ended it with the Ace of Wands. I mean, this person really looks at you as a motherly figure. Like somebody who guides them and, you know... Make sure that they're on the right path. Someone who wants them to be better than what they are. But unfortunately, I mean, who's looking out for you, right? Tell me more. But this ex, though, is coming in your life to confuse you. I mean, either way, I mean, it's your soulmate. They have a lot of love for you and you clearly love them too. But you're just like playing hard to get because you're staying with someone else. This is for someone. This message is for someone. If you're not seeing anyone else, this is not for you. This message is for someone who broke up with someone because the relationship was just too toxic, too heavy. There was so many fight-ins. I mean, there could be other people that you were fighting with for this person's attention. I mean, you were constantly trying to get their attention, letting them know, like, hey, I want to be with you kind of thing. And they weren't 
looking at you and now that you're gone and you're seeing someone else they want to come back in hmm okay yeah there was a lot of deceits in your past relationship <sighs> there's a lot of deceit here yeah look at that for some of you it could have been a marriage that you um left in the past with the ten of pentacles here like this person just needs you back like before, i feel like they're like well my life was so great when we were together and now i know the value like when they were with, with you they didn't value everything that they have they didn't value the family the home what they were coming home to if you cook for them the cooked meals or the clean home like the bed that they had and now that they're you're, you know it's over and i feel like you tied up this ten of pentacles they're like realizing oh my god you know you were everything you know a lot of you're beautiful to them like they're saying that you're beautiful you know i'm also getting that they were very uh, cold to you they were very on you know reliable made you cry they were very up and down had their emotions one way and then it was another way um they were embarrassed and they embarrassed you a lot yeah, they, they're they still stuck in something, your past situation, your past person, even though they're giving you this um, long committed relationship here, this offer that they're going to give you, I just want you to know, like, this person is still stuck in something, it's either drug addiction, sexual addiction, or drinking addiction for you, um, or a toxic family that I'm also getting as well, or toxic friends. They're not having, they're, they haven't gone anywhere, okay? Um, but your twin flame, you're going to burn that twin flame out because they're telling me that they have the nine of wands and they're just like burnt out from the situation. But you are going to also be burnt out from this situation because you don't know what to choose. Um, and I do see that eventually, you know, your person, your twin flame connection do still want to work this out because they have a lot of love for you. Um, a lot of passion, um, exactly. And, you know, they just feel like it's right. You guys belong together, but there's your soulmate, right? Your past. Then we have the six... My cat. Blue? Then you have the six of wands here, okay? <sighs> Which this person still looks at you like this beautiful person, you know? They still look like you like this beautiful person like you have a lot of friends you have a lot of people that truly care about you love you and when you walk in a room everybody knows who you are or you light up a room when it's really dark like you light up their room like i'm seeing like for some of you you could be well known maybe you are a influencer or you do um videos for a living like beauty videos or something like that or you do vlogs or something like that or you do sales but you are always on the go and pre people praise you for it praise you for your accomplishment maybe you're a rapper if you're a dude or a girl whatever you know but people praise you for it what's the conclusion here <clears throat> all right on the back of the deck we have the justice the knight of cups and we have the two of swords we have the sun we have the page of swords okay and the ten of cups all right um i see on the present moment because when i pull from the back it's a present moment okay so i do feel like this person it chose you okay whoever this is this is a, um let me see who this is the justice all right um i feel like this could be your past past person who decided to give you clarity okay because they're coming in as the person with the knight of cups which i'm thinking this is the six of cups person this water person this emotional roller coaster okay sometimes i'm getting cancer vibes here for some of you okay um, you don't know where they are with the five of wands. I mean, the five of swords, excuse me. You know, they're cold one day and they're warm another day. Like, you know, they make you feel like, 
like you're not the one for them they make you feel like they don't know how to make you happy but this person is like a, a decision that they have made okay because they were trying to build a family and i felt like they were going um they were going towards this really immaturely and what happened is that it didn't work out and this person was very unhappy but was very unhappy that it didn't work out you know they thought how they were doing things was gonna have big results and it surely didn't right okay so then we have the conclusion here okay let's see here we have the high fraud okay we have the three of pentacles we have the nine of pentacles and the five of pentacles we also have the ace of swords in reverse so you know i feel like this person definitely wants to be with you but there is like no new form of clarity or way to make this work i feel like this person what their problem is is continue to do things the same way right so you know in conclusion i feel like this is something that you're going to be wrapping up um this relationship okay it could have been a marriage for some of you with a five of what five of pentacles um it could have been a relationship that you have lived with this person um uh but i also feel like the single life that that this person is living is not the one that they want okay they don't want to be single i feel like this person had you waiting for a long long time before they made things right and because of that they might just lose you in the conclusion okay um but there's a decision where this person has decided to move forward with this so i'm going to clarify real quick you know what this card is here so i'm going to clarify Clarify the hyphen, please. The hyphen. Thank you. Oh, wow. Okay, so we have the Knight of Swords on the back of the deck. You know, this person tends to be a player when they don't get their way with you, but that's how they're approaching you. Like, oh my God, I got swag. I'm cute. I am this. I get what I want kind of attitude. But they're moving towards a broken relationship, okay? Something that, you know, they they did a lot of damage to and obviously this relationship made clear it. Um, what is it? Um, healing, all right? Um, I feel like this person has doubts that you're going to choose them. Like it's like up in the air. Like they don't know if they're going to be chosen or not, but they're going to try anyways. There's a lot of, um, distress and a lot of, um, regret and a lot of tears that was shed in this situation because they truly think of you a lot. Okay. Um, you're thinking of them too, because I, I told you it was a soulmate connection, right? Two of cups, the six of cups, and then you have your twin flame here. So... I hope this resonates, you guys, and I hope that it clarifies some things here. And remember, guys, if it resonates, like the video, okay? Give this video a big thumbs up here on the channel um, so YouTube can see that it resonates and they push the videos forward into a bigger audience so the video can grow, so the channel can keep growing. And if you want to support me, like I said, further, you could go on the Instagram, help that page to reach 5Ks. And as soon as I do, I will start those free personal reading on the gram. Everything should be in the below section of this video. And I will see you guys in your next one. Bye, guys.